Let's create a corridor surface. How do we do it? We click on the corridor, right click, go to corridor properties. On these tabs up here, you will see a surface tab. And from here, the first icon here, you can create a corridor surface by clicking on that. And I'm creating a top surface. I will name it rd one top. And once you've created the surface, you now need to define it. And this the top surface will be defined through links. And the codes uh, to be used are the top codes. As you can see, there are various other codes. I want all the top codes. I, don't, I do not only want for the pavement, for pavement one, for pavement two. I want all the top codes. And once I specify top codes, I can add them here. And I can click on break line. And this is the surface style that will be used. They may use a, a different one here. And as you can see, we have created that surface. I will click on that, right click, go to object viewer to view that surface. So this triangulation here is not very accurate. And therefore, we will create boundaries for, for this surface. Let's click on the corridor again. Right click and go to corridor properties. Here, there's a tab for boundaries. Click on that and click on corridor extends as outer boundary after you right clicked. Apply, click on OK. And now the surface is now within the limits of the corridor boundaries. Let's look at it once again. Let's go to the prospector tab of the tool space. Road corridor top. This was a surface. Let's select it. Right click and go to object viewer. Now it's within the confines of the of the road surface. And this is the top surface of the corridor. We can also create the bottom surface or rather the daytime surface. How do we do that? We click on corridor again. We repeat the process. Go to corridor properties. Go to the surfaces tab. Create a corridor here now. Refer to it as daytime or bottom, whatever you want. Here, assign it a style that you want. Let's do contours and uh, triangles. Click OK. And then now we'll, we'll, we'll still use the links but now we'll use the bottom links, which are also called the datum links, and add to this surface. And again, we confine it to the road corridor extends as outer boundary. We apply and we click on OK. And there you can see it here in gray. That's the datum. That's the data surface. This represents the bottom 
of the road corridor.